Skeletor. Having finally stolen one of the cosmic key prototypes created by Wildor, banished his brother King Randor into the Spondos. He then used the evil doppelanger android Faker to trick the people of Eternia into believing He-Man was a god traitor all along and their king's assassin. Forced at last to reveal his true identity as Prince Adam, He-Man led the renegade masters of the universe in a rebellion against the Skeletor's despotic rule. Wearing armor crafted in the Great Force with the fire of Granavir and the Spillian metal masters of Lord Dactus, He-Man became a symbol of hope on Eternia like never before. While his class with a Skeletor took him to the stars and beyond, He-Man eventually became King of Eternia and regained his youth during the events of the Reawakening. When a resurgent Skeletor stole the powers of the old gods to become nearly omnipotent, He-Man donned his rebel armor once more for enchantments placed upon it by both the sorceress and the goddess, protected him from Skeletor's divinely enhanced powers. I am Alberto Arribas from Triple A Toys, and this is getting powerful. Rebel Leader, He-Man. This packaging is the one for Classics line. Nothing resembles to the movie. With the plastic bubble and the green bricks of Grayskull in the lower part. In the back, you have a very cool art of He-Man. Son of the club Grayskull line that we're gonna review too in this channel. And the character's bio. And here it comes, one of the hardest decisions of your life. Not proposing to your girlfriend. Not to have or not another kid. Or to be part of not in an eating chili contest. <laughs> will you open it and enjoy the figure with your senses? Or will you keep it protected forever from danger and time? Well, open it, you damn scalper! <laughs> For this brave purpose, you will need a blade and the stability of a surgeon. But you will get to it eventually. Six hours later. And here he is, Ivan Drago. The guy who destroyed Lando Calrissian in a boxing combat. I mean, He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. By Super 7. This figure is a dream come true. I've waited for a movie-based He-Man since I was a kid, and here it is. Thank you, William Stout and Super 7 for making this dream come true. It's about time, dude. The head sculptor is stunning. Four Horsemen Studios has made an incredible job in this one. And this head looks totally like Dolph. Even with his mullet. If you want to have a mullet, you should be Dolph Langren, or Kurt Russell, or John Rambo. Or you may look like this, like this, or like that. The body sculptor is almost the same as we saw in the rest of the classics line. Wrong. This awesome road warrior has a lot of new pieces. New bracelet. New leather bands in the biceps. No fur loincloth. New belts. More leather strips in the upper legs. New boots. New shoulder pads. New power! The legend says that Dolph Langren gave a part of his blood to make this plastic. The detail of the armor, it's insane! Look at the shoulder pads a sculptor. The boots from Eternia Bikers Club. The medallions. The arm from Never Ending Story. All painted in impressively splendid gold. 
Superb! Four horsemen prove themselves to be worthy of dressing He-Man, the most apocalyptic, well-dressed man in the universe. Some of the previous figures of Super 7 had a more glossy plastic, but this guy has not, which is better. Despite He-Man was covered in oil in the movie. Talking about accessories. He has a throwing knife in his boot. A dagger that looks like a beautiful miniature of the original Power Sword. The Vigor Power Sword. One of the best ever made. Designed directly from the movie. Look how cool it is! And the blaster that he used in the film. Wait, he man shooting a blaster? Yeah, because when the enemies are far away, you better shoot them than throwing their sword to them. Imagine if they use it to get the power of Grayskull. <laughs> nah, better use the gun. Look at the incredible holster of the blaster. Its design took you directly to the 80s. The power sword can be stored in this other holster under the cave with this beautiful clip. In fact, all the weapons has a place to be stored in this figure. No more loose accessories on this guy. The dagger and the throwing knife doesn't hold in their hands because they're too tiny. Well, let me tell you something, brother. Well, let me tell you something, brother. I don't care because I will never display him with those weapons if I have these other amazing weapons. They're just dressing accessories, you know. But if you have Queen Marlena in your collection, you can use her blaster rifle and give it to He-Man. Because this blaster rifle is from the movie, you know? It comes with a secondary head. The stuntman of Dolph Langren in the movie. <laughs> nah. I think it's based on the original sketch design for the movie, which is cool. As you may know, William Stout hired the legendary Moebius to make the original sketch design for He-Man. And then William finished it. He has a ball joint in the neck, but the hair interferes a little bit with the movement of the head. He-Man doesn't need to look up and down. He just needs to look forward to his enemy's eyes. He can move the arms all around to chop robot enemies with his power sword. He has swivels on the biceps and the wrist. Also, it has this articulation to take care of his glorious haircut. Standard joint on the elbow. You can bend the torso to make the most powerful abs in the universe. Turn the hip. A standard ball joint like hinge in the legs to make the most powerful split in the universe. Rotates in the upper leg, a standard joint in the knee, and the ankles can go up and down and rock side to side because he's also the most powerful dancer in the universe. Thank you, Super 7, for getting to do this figure and Four Horsemen for doing that outstanding job with the design. It really brings to life the character of the movie. Well, if you like this powerful review, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and ring the bell to stay tuned for more Masters of the Universe reviews and other stuff. Good journey! Good journey, Imaginators.
Hey, haven't you subscribed yet? Hmm.